All right, guys, it's about 10 o'clock at night. We just had the gender reveal this evening. We played this really cool game with all these balloons, and there were a bunch of balloons that had nothing in them, and there were three with one color glitter or confetti, and four with the color confetti of the, what the baby is. Everybody at the party took turns throwing darts at the balloons, which is really cool how it, it uh, involved everybody, and it just so happened that Jeremiah's turn was the tie-breaking dart, and... If he hits a blue. <laughs> <laughs> That's poetic. Because you want a girl. That's poetic. That's tragic. <laughs> it's just poetic. He's a man, no. dart. <laughs> <laughs> So we're pretty excited about that. Maya just texted me, said make sure to put on layers, it's very cold. He's in the barn and Helen is in active labor. Hey Gabe. <sighs> Nothing like the coldest night of the year to have a baby, right? Technically tomorrow will be the coldest. Oh. 21. Oh yeah. Second coldest. This is definitely active labor. To keep arching and pushing yeah, like that. Okay, Hannah said we need to see hooves within like 30 minutes or we're gonna have to go in and make sure that the baby's not breech. <laughs> you sound super excited about that. Oh, girly. I really hope that this is pretty quick and painless for your sake of watching because it is well below freezing out here and that zaps camera batteries like nobody's business. Got some extras on the charger in there. Hopefully, hopefully we don't run into issues. With it's all down to personality with animals. And it's so funny when they go into labor. Sometimes the most aloof and standoffish animal will just wanna be like right in your lap when they give birth. Sometimes they want their own space. Helen's really affectionate, so I assume she'd probably she would want, you know, touching and all that while she's laboring. I came in cautiously. I wouldn't have gotten in here without Maya here, just in case she was real aggressive. But she likes likes the scratches. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It hasn't come out yet, but like things are moving there. I'm gonna say that we probably don't have a whole lot to worry about with what I'm seeing. That was a lot of work. Are there crappy, where are the crappy towels? There's some on top of the fridge in the laundry room. I think there's some in the dryer. Oh yeah, those are hooves, two hooves. Ooh, she's pushing against the wall. It means baby's not breech. They're facing the way they should be. All right. I have like no grid at all for what a big calf looks like. I can tell on a goat, so if it's a, if it's a big... I came out here as fast as you need me to. You said get some crappy towels. <laughs> Thank I you. Huh? I know you're freezing. You can go back freezing. in. Thank you. That's fine. I'll go. Bye. Thank you. Love, do you want to see? The hooves are out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's nuts. Tell her good job, Mama. <laughs> Doing good. Really good. <laughs> Glad it's even not me. Yeah. Oh, good job, Mama. Good job, Mama. It is very cold. I see its face. I can't see that good it's from here. Moving. It's moving. I don't think it ever 
goes away. It's been seven years almost since I have given birth. And it just, you just kind of feel it. Every time you watch it, you're just like, oh yeah. And, You're doing a good job, Mama. You're doing a good job. up against the wall and I wanted to get her out. Oh, she's out, Mama. Come on, she's out. Harry, why don't you come pick me? Grab a towel. Let's get her mouth. There you go, Mommy. There you go, Mommy. Wipe her mouth off. Right here. Her head's right here. She's gonna get her cleaned off. I don't want to interfere with that. I just want to make sure she could breathe. Her head is lying in a pile of poop. I probably should have grabbed that poop. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. <laughs> They're farm animals. <laughs> yeah. I hope it's a she. I'm gonna I'm not interfering right now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Congratulations, good job. Good we've been job. doing this, have you told them? Yeah, we've been shaking hands. We've been shaking hands and we do good on the farm, like good business job. partners. Happy birthday. Aw, <laughs> she was born on my brother's birthday. <laughs> There's something so universally sweet the way a mama speaks to her brand new baby. Message um, Asher and Jackson. Why? I need them to fill the kettle and turn it on, as well as probably a pot of water on the stove. Okay. Nope. <laughs> and we're on the ground. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Girl. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a cutie girl. So, in some cases, we might not interfere here with a mama cleaning her baby. But Helen's obviously very interested, and it's 24 degrees in our barn right now, so. And I need her to dry off. We need her dry. She's shaking. It's hanging. All right, we have afterbirth, which is good to see. That's mostly just the sack. The placenta itself is probably coming afterwards. So my opinion of calving is that it feels just like kidding. I mean, parts are the same, presentation's the same, process is very much the same. Everything's just so much bigger that if you've only ever been around goats kidding and you've been around a lot of goats kidding, it's just a little bewildering. But it's wonderful. She's probably going to lay down and push the placenta out. I, I will tell y'all, I did not just film her eating that afterbirth because I can't even look at it the first time. I certainly can't edit that. I have such a weak stomach. and She's fluffing up. 
baby is. Yeah. I mean, I've got all the wet stuff, but she's got that. I mean, she's still wet, but well, she's that, not. That yeah, it's that. Yeah, so they come out real like. There's like a kind of mm. lubrication feel to them. I mean, it's just mm. from the amniotic fluid and stuff. So it's different than being like water wet. It's like a little slicker. And so they're also, I mean, like fully wet. <laughs> I mean, every, I mean, they're completely soaked. It's not like they got rained on. I mean, she's been living in water for <laughs> her entire formation. <laughs> but um, she's not shivering like she was. Maya piled a bunch of straw around her. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I know she was born 30 minutes ago. She's on all fours right now. Yep. Oh, happy birthday. Make, it, make sure you listen to Toby's message. He, uh, he sang you happy birthday. It's really cute. I thought he was just, I thought he was just going to say happy birthday. And he just started singing. I was trying to keep a straight face because it was so cute. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. Mm. All right. Well, happy mm. birthday. I hope you had a great day. All right. Let me see your face. Oh, she's up, sweet Maya. Mm. Oh, look at her. Mm. <laughs> cool is it to be born? Mm. I just called Drew or texted Drew a picture and said, mm. hey, she was born on your birthday. Mm. And he called me because I, Toby had tried to call him earlier. He said, he said, how crazy is it to be born and just pop up and walk? He's like, human babies waffle around for at least six months before they even try to move. <laughs> it looks like she's taken after her mama. <laughs> well, I did rub her down a little bit. Yeah. She's, she stood up and walked to you across yeah. the stall. Mm. Oh, little girl. Are we going to be friends? Are we going to be friends? Mm. Helen's a good little mama. Mm -hmm. All right. It's now 11 o'clock p.m. Uh, so we've been out here for about an hour and a half from when we first realized that Helen was in active labor. Um, we had checked on her about 8.30 and seen that she had some pretty serious discharge. I knew she had to be close because her teats had been leaking since yesterday. Her ligaments were super sunken in. Um, I mean, I knew that it was going to be like an any minute thing. But we checked on her while people were still here for the gender reveal. Saw the discharge. We knew that it would probably be tonight. And so we've been checking on her like every few hours. And since we had seen that discharge, we came back out about an hour later. And she was pushing. It was obvious. Like it was mild and the contractions were still far apart. So we just kind of settled in to be out here. And that was an hour and a half ago. So... Baby is getting um, real steady on her feet in such a brief time. She's made about four laps around the little stall. So she's getting stronger and I'm just watching for her to make her way to the udder and start eating. It's so cold. Like when I, I don't have gloves on because I'm texting and you know, like updating on media and stuff. So cold. Um, my, my camera is freezing right now. Maya just ran up to the house. We called the teenager boys and asked them to put a pot of water on the stove and the kettle on. And we're going to bring it out here and um, give Helen a couple of buckets of warm molasses water. Now, now to clarify, I'm not going to give her the boiling water. We're going to add it to water from this trough. Um, it's too frozen for the hose to work but we can warm up some of the water that's already out here, put some molasses in it, just kind of replenish her. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I filled this up with mm -hmm. That shows the difference of how warm it is in here versus outside. Mm -hmm. 
pot. Is that all right? Mm. That cooled that off that much? Yeah. so cold my it literally my toes and hands are hurting so bad well at least we didn't have to pull a calf out yeah that's true how much of this um like a good bit i don't think you can really overdo it i would go a little more than that all right guys i'm setting you up here on the side and i'm gonna attempt to get the baby on Helen and I hope you can see but frankly it's really cold and we just need to get this done so yeah, okay, why don't you try that water. drink your water mm. she's like licking it in the milk back at me. Oh, she finally got it in her mouth. And she lost it. <laughs> Alright. So, she's got a solid latch and she is nursing really well. Maya just brought up a little more feed for Helen and a couple bales of straw we're going to spread out here and then we are going to go and thaw our feet. So it is massively important that a calf gets colostrum after it's born. Um, in fact, like their chances of survival go down significantly if they don't nurse within an hour or two of being born. Right now, with how cold it is, it's not a concern that this calf is born and that it's this cold. If they have bedding, they have each other, they'll lay down close to each other. Um, it's okay. Like. We are freezing, but she'll be fine. However, if she did not nurse and get a good belly full of colostrum when it was this cold, um, her chances of survival, even 24 hours, would be pretty slim. So that's why we're out here making sure that she is successful at this. And she was pretty clumsy on it for a little while, but she's now effectively nursed for about the last seven or eight minutes and she switched to another teat which is good to see so she's like really getting the hang of it we've been keeping her feed ration on the lower side because before she calves if you give her a lot of feed she'll just put it onto the calf which then can produce a bigger calf be dangerous whatever so i'm giving her some extra feed now that she's had the calf and i put it inside the bucket that we used to scoop the water out so it'll be harder for her to get it out as fast okay, that'll keep her standing which will keep her standing and give her more time to nurse to nurse and get the hang of it and that's not her full ration of no. that feed we'll work up to that over the course of the next handful of days oh my gosh i'm like losing dexterity i'm so cold people have been texting me and i have been responding i know i stopped responding because i couldn't all right we've been watching her eat here for about 15 minutes and her little belly is starting to fill up, which is good. That's what we want to see. It is 11.40. So she's been eating longer than 15 minutes. That's good. Her, her belly's getting a little round on the sides. Um, Katie came out here with us and she's like questioning her decision because it's cold. Um, so that's it for us. We'll come out and check her in the night, uh, but she should be fine. And we will probably keep her here in the barn for at least a couple of days. Good job, Sowards. Congrats. <laughs> My hands are so cold. Good job, Helen. Good night, hallelujah. Happy birthday. Good morning, guys. So Maya took the night shift of checking on things and I'm walking out here this morning. Um, he checked on her a few hours ago, everything's fine. But I just wanna see her again in the daylight. It's cold enough out here that the ground is actually frozen. 
that is foreign for me those of you who live in very cold places that's hard to imagine but um our ground so very rarely freezes and even still it'll be muddy by this evening again good morning oh <laughs> well goodness somebody's dry hey mama how are you Good morning, Hallie. She looks like a little deer. Since Maya's not out here with me, I'm not gonna get in there with them. Um, new mamas are in survival mode. They are, I mean, even though Helen loves us, it's just, I'll give her some space. Um, we will start handling this baby a lot ASAP. Um, so you will probably milk Helen a little bit to give her a little bit of relief, but we will not milk her all the way out for this next few days uh, because you don't want to put too high demand on them, especially such a high producing breed because they can get milk fever. So we want to make sure that we're caring for her well. She did pass her placenta, which is good. Um, that's something that you want to keep an eye out for and it looks like all is well Hey little darling You did a good job mama So her name hallelujah, I've had that name planned for I thought it would be my first cow name uh, For a couple years now I had originally said that if I got my first cow I would name Winona Faye because I was in an art gallery once and I saw that name um, it was the name of an art collector who really advocated for teaching the arts and, and I loved it. Well, then I got a goat named Winona. And so that one fell off and that's about the time that I grabbed hold of Hallelujah, Hallie. And, um, I thought that that's what I would name my first cow. And then I got Hope and I got her from a friend who'd had her for years. I wasn't going to change her name, but I was like, well, Hope goes with Hallie with hallelujah and that's why I named honey an H name well then when we found Helen and she was bred and it was supposed to be a heifer I was like okay this is probably great this is probably just right and I think it was so hallelujah aka Hallie we're excited to welcome her well thank you guys for hanging on there with me through the process of waiting on hallelujah it made it so much more fun to share it with you all and and all the different things i was tagged in and that were shared with me it was just fun to get to experience um that as a community to get to share our first calf being born of our farm what i believe will be the first of many i bless you guys until next time